Hello, how are you? I hope found you well. In this series, we want to take a look at cash. As you know, there are several ways to using cash, like hardware, CPU, hard disk, and others, and software. And especially in this series, we want to take a look at cash in Laravel. Especially in this video, we just want to take a look at how we can use the cache in Laurel and what's the config we need to know and just config a little bit things about the cache on code review pals code base so let's take a look at code review pals and talk there for the first step we need to config where we want to store our cache as you can see in the env file on the root of your project you, uh, there is a cache driver key here and you can specify uh, multiple drivers here there are several drivers like file and database and DynamoDB uh, which will uh, store the cache in the uh, disk hard disk and Redis memcache and other things will store your cache uh, in the memory storage and the memory is more faster than the disk space and why we are using the cache yes for speed and i will change this to redis but before changing this to redis or memcache or everything else you must to config the redis host and the memcache if you want to use memcache that's my configuration memcache is not ready uh, but if you want you can take a look at the laravel documentation here there's a section and you can uh, take a look at uh, which drivers in here or even you can make your custom driver for your third-party service after setting up the driver uh, almost for uh, all the drivers there are there is no difference means you can uh, cache everything in uh, almost every drivers but uh, like uh, file driver and redis driver or other redis main cache and other has some extra features like you can use ca you can use uh, tags and uh, but in the file system uh, almost you cannot use tags even you can check these limitations in the laravel document so please read this document okay uh, take a look at how we can use the cache uh, there are some ways to using this cache uh, for the step one the step one was the config in. okay a way is use cache as the facade this is the cache facade and you must to uh, include the cache facade in your application use this like this in which file you want and uh, there is two function we need mostly uh, one is a set when you set a value in your cache cache what is cache is uh, you will store a value as a key and when you need that key the value will be in your hand fast very fast very faster than database very faster than uh, you run a huge query in your database so you must to know when you want to use cache otherwise it will be increase your infrastructure cost like you need more memory you need more database you need more disk space uh, because you will store duplicate data and unused data in your cache and the database you don't you have to avoid uh, unnecessary data on the cache so for this application i just want to store these pull requests and return it uh, when i have the key like when people wants to uh, show the pull request page uh, many people want to show uh, see the pull request page 
I don't want to request to database and fetch data from database every time. I just want to make a gap between the update data and what users see. It will increase the speed of the page and will decrease the infrastructure cost for me. So first, we need a key. I will talk about the key and uh, the structure of the key in next video. So in this video, just uh, put it, let's name it at pull request, pull requests make. And as a value, I need to name the pull request. And the important section is timing. Uh, it's important because if you store a huge data with a long time, more than a day or more than a week, it will be cost your infrastructure. If it will be increase your cost of infrastructure, and we don't want it. So, in this scenario, in this scenario, I just want to prevent uh, this gap for a minute, 60 seconds. Uh, if you want a value more than a day or a month, you can exclude this uh, using second and use uh, something like date interval. This is a PHP object and you can uh, check the document in the php.net. I will put the link in the description of the video and you can check the document. Uh, I just want the uh, 60 seconds is good. And it should be pull request. Also, I must do change a little bit here. We don't want to uh, store the collection here. You can choose store uh, pure data like pull request paginate or uh, your, uh, you know, this is a collection and we can do some stuff on the as you can and view and create and uh, things on your data and i don't want to store view and create things here because uh, this is a speci specific for each user and i must to exclude this in here and just store the request paginate and at the end uh, i will use request something like this and change it on the data it will be good for us but when you use cache like this means set the value and something like this you need uh, some logic stuff here like you must to check that this key is persist or not uh, and you must to make an if here like uh, cache there is a has method and uh, we can pass the key here for the for this and if we if our cache and if it's not persist we must to store and request to the database and if it's still means i must to make an else here I uh, should do pull requests equal to uh, pull request is equal to cache get the pull requests main just the uh, key. It will be good and it's work for us. Uh, but as you can see, it's uh, make my code dirty. Uh, there is a way to avoid this dirty code and make it simpler. Instead of uh, define set and use set and get and has, there is a function called remember and we can use it like this. Uh, I need to I need the pull requests to get my pull request from the database. So I will just define this variable and uh, for the cache there is a function named remember uh, we can specify the key here and the time here and for 
third parameter, we must to define a function, its anonymous function, and just return this value. And we don't need those codes anymore. I just make this uh, command to for you to see the difference. It's the shorter way. Uh, and when the ca when this key is not persist in the cache storage, uh, it will call the function. And if it's persist, it just will return the value of the key from the cache. Um, like uh, we like something we did in here but uh, with better interface and do logic in backend we don't need to engage with this kind of logics also there is a function uh, named remember forever and if you want to use remember forever you must do uh, remove the ttl here and it will uh, store this data almost forever in your cache. Almost forever means uh, you may restart your uh, data, your cache storage, or you delete all of your caches and it will be uh, calculate this cache again. Okay, it was the cache. I hope you like this video if you like and interest this kind of content please like and subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friends and other ones you can join our discord server code review pals discord server i will put the link in the description and see you in the next video i hope you enjoy this video goodbye